today here is Our Power Sunday. It's our weekly bike rides that we host for the community. Riding through these particular parks and neighborhoods, it helps defeat that idea of what shadows our entire city. And this idea is it's always dangerous, always dirty, threatening. So us riding our bikes through that park, you know, it changes people's views, it changes people's perceptions. The Richmond population is about 110,000. Latinos are about 40%. African Americans are about 22% and declining. Asians are around 15%, but that's an incredibly diverse population. Chinese, sick the Laotian refugee community that came here at the end of the Vietnam War. Communities of color living here deal with local pollution. Chevron is the single largest private sector employer, but it only hires about 5% local people. We're trying to organize a movement of movements where we can holistically transform um, our reality, the way we're governed, the way we govern ourselves, the way we choose to be in community with each other, our relationships to industries and practices, to rethink and reimagine all those aspects. Together, we are trying to advance what's called a just transition in Richmond. We want to be able to set a framework, what we call the just transition framework, where there is a planned transition in our economy here in Richmond, led by people who live here in Richmond so that they actually benefit from that transition. We can't talk about a just transition without talking about the extractive economy of mass incarceration. Literally bodies, people as a resource to that system. We had candidates who basically, you know, passed policies, you know, that Chevron preferred to be passed. No matter how much protesting you did, it was to no avail unless the people who were in office made the right decisions. So we figured that the best way to have people make the right decisions was to put the right people into the office. In 2014, this corporation inserted $3 million into a Richmond City Council race. Every single billboard was taken up. If you were on your phone, you were gonna run into a Chevron message. If you were on watching TV, you were gonna run into a Chevron message. They didn't win any of the people that they promoted. We're now seeing our city has improved uh, dramatically. Crime is down. We have the highest minimum wage in the state, $15 an hour next year. We have rent controlled for the first time in 30 years, as well as more transparency and accountability from Chevron Corporation. We were able to get a large solar farm built on Chevron property. It's the largest public owned solar program in the Bay Area, yeah. A just transition is needed. So how do you do that? Well, you don't have legislators who think they have all the answers. And so for me, that's why it's so important to collaborate with organizations that are doing the work. We decided to host a big town gathering. We called it the Richmond People's Assembly. Before the assembly happened, there was a huge effort to survey and talk to hundreds of Richmond residents about what their top priority issues were. We can come together to collectively leverage our power and then have solutions that are centered in our frontline community members. How do we now use this resource of all these new people? How do we move a community into what we see locally as Richmond, as the best just transition for all of us?